Hello, I'm Ethan Burks. Indiana's seven-day positivity rate for the virus is at its lowest since late October. Today, the State Department of Health reports the rate is at 10.4 percent, which is a new low since October 30th. Throughout January, Indiana has continued to see its COVID-19 case numbers and hospitalizations trend downward. Health officials say they cannot pinpoint a specific reason for the decrease. IU says it's ready to start vaccinating Bloomington, the Bloomington community on a larger scale, but they need more vaccines to become available. I think uh, looking at uh, you know our numbers uh, and the capacity that we have, I'm pretty comfortable that we could do between 500 and 1,000 vaccinations a day uh, if we had the supply. White says the university has many location options as well as the logistical ability to start the process. So far, IU Health has vaccinated 12,000 people in Bloomington. But earlier this week, the State Department of Health said the failure to produce a national vaccine stockpile is preventing Indiana from advancing its vaccine distribution plan further. And earlier this week, IU Maurer School of Law Professor Don Johnson was sworn in as senior counselor to the Department of Justice Office of Legal Counsel after the Senate approved her confirmation. Johnson served on President Joe Biden's transition team before he was inaugurated. But this is not the first time working for Commander-in-Chief. Johnson has served under both the Clinton and Obama administrations as the Assistant Attorney General. Johnson is also married to Bloomington Mayor John Hamilton. And a quick check up on tonight's forecast. We see it dips down quite a bit low as a 14 degrees, a little to no one at 6 miles an hour. But temperatures do rise up into those mid-30s tomorrow as the sun's out. And then we see some precipitation Sunday and starting next week with 60% chance of rain and snow on Sunday and a lot of rain coming Monday. For more news, check us out online at WTIUnews.org.